Hi, and welcome back to another devlog for Night Run. I'm Matto, and in this video, I'm just gonna give a quick update for where we are in the project and what we're planning to do next. Let's get started. So, welcome back. If you've been following along, if you're new to the project, check out the playlist on the YouTube channel where you can go back uh, over the past 10 videos uh, where we've been walking you through. The update for where we're at now is that about 10 days ago, we ran the Mint for the NFT project and were able to raise about 175,000 US dollars by selling 2,048 NFT tokens at a price of 0.06 ETH each. It was a 5% commission that went to our minting platform provider and, and partner on the project, Zora. They made a great little short documentary, which you can check out on the channel. I'll, I'll put a link above that kind of is me talking about the project. The team there did a great job on the video. And so now here we are, right? We've raised the capital that we were hoping to raise. It succeeded. Thank you so much to everybody who chose to mint the project or who collected it on secondary. And people seem to be enjoying and appreciating the art for the project, which is a, which is a relief for me as the main artist. I'm happy to see that people like it. We've got a great group of folks in Discord. We've been having great conversations with there and, and join the Discord if you're not in already. I'll put a link in the description. I don't know if it's clear from watching these videos, but getting ready for the mint, running the mint, you know, is a very intense process. For those of you who have followed people doing Kickstarter projects, it's a similar energy, right? Very high stakes feeling for us, very stressful, a lot of intensity all leading up to one moment, right? One kind of 24 hour period where you're gonna kind of succeed or fail. And so that was pretty intense for, for us, but we, we succeeded and minted out. We minted out, I think in 12 or 14 hours, something like that, relatively quickly. So there was like a healthy demand, healthy interest for it. And so frankly, kind of leading up to that in the weeks leading up to the mint, that was pretty much all we were working on, right? We were doing a little bit of behind the scenes work on the game because we were producing these videos showing the different collections being inter integrated into the game as kind of part of the marketing lead up to the launch. But any kind of like real deep development work was was kind of on the side as we were just getting ready to, to, to sell the collection to get the money that we needed. So now that that part of the process is done, we kind of took a couple days to like just recoup and regenerate a little bit. And now we're like back into serious development mode. And one thing that for those who are new to the project or just joining in one form or another, this is a project that I've been working on on my own for about two plus years, right? The original prototypes of the motorcycle game before I knew that it was gonna be an NFT project and this whole larger art project, you know, were started about two years ago and then it was kind of poking along as a side project. And now finally that we've completed our launch, it's now we're in full time, full team development mode on actually making the production good quality version of the game. And so we've been shifting into that phase of the process now over the past couple of days. And it feels really good to be able to actually focus on development again, less of a focus on marketing. Obviously we're still communicating, here we are, but we're kind of getting our heads down, really getting into writing some code. So I'll actually do another video on the channel talking in more detail about some of the thinking that's going into that, specifically around the deterministic procedural generation of the environment, the way that connects to the seed values for the NFTs. That's actually was kind of the main focus for the past couple of days for me and Josh was just planning the kind of final version of that algorithm out and accounting for any kind of corner cases that might come up. Like if we put a piece of art in the game, but then somebody wants us to take it out, right? We don't want that to change everything downstream, right? So just trying to design it in such a way so that we can generate things procedurally that are, that are kind of consistent. I'll talk more about that because that's a whole topic in and of itself that's pretty interesting. 
as I've talked about a little bit on the channel, not that much, you know, my previous life and creative practice before doing games was in music making. I was an electronic musician under the name Matt Shade Tech or as part of a group called Team Shade Tech for about 15 years. And that was really kind of like the center of my creative world for a long time. And one of the things that this project has definitely been bringing back to the fore is some of my music. And we really noticed during the Mint and during the marketing and lead up to the Mint, people really responding to the music and being like, wow, what's that music in the trailer? What, you know? And that is now, I'm kind of realizing, okay, the music is maybe, the music was always gonna be an important part of the game where people could choose the music for the seeds that they own. So they choose what music is playing. And so we're gonna have a library of music and stuff, but I didn't really realize the extent to which that part of this was kind of resonating with people and, and generating interest and attention. So that's been pretty cool. And we've been thinking kind of behind the scenes about, okay, how do we, you know, what are we gonna do with that? Are we gonna kind of expand the music or maybe there's gonna be some, you know, larger musical component down the road. And so that we've been having some interesting and fun discussions around that. And that's obviously been very gratifying for me, right? I'm really happy that people like the music and obviously making music is something I love to do. So it's, it's fun to be able to make some more music in the context of this project. And last weekend I was making like some generative techno stuff that's gonna go in the game and that's just, having a blast doing that. So that's been really cool. And yeah, so we're just kind of getting into action mode. Our target is April uh, to make a release of the game. Mid to late April, I would say is probably realistic. And with all things in development, may very well ship, shift further out, right? If we encounter any snags. But so far, we've been moving along at a good pace. We're getting a lot of the core code done. The happy thing about it is that we, at least I have like a pretty clear idea about exactly what we need to make. I wrote it all out in a game design document. So we now have like a clear documentation and that's shared in the holders channel of our discord. So if you own one of the NFTs and you verify, you can join the runners chat, which we're putting a lot more rich behind the scenes kind of content in there for, for people who are interested. We're getting up ahead of steam on the development. It feels good. I'm, I'm happy to be kind of back into that mode. You know, the, the nature of these devlogs is probably gonna shift now to be more technical and execution focused. One of the videos I'm gonna do soon is talking about the NFT collection, the rarity in that. We'll put that out soon as well, but we're gonna get back into more kind of game development mode, which definitely if you're watching on YouTube, I know a lot of you guys are, want to see more of, so so sit tight for that. And yeah, as always, just thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate your being a part of this strange and experimental process, this journey that we're on. And I really appreciate all the feedback. There's been some really interesting, thoughtful conversation down in the comments below. So drop me a comment if this uh, sparks any thoughts or ideas for you. Subscribe if you're not already. Drop a like on the video for the algorithm. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.